Hey guys, so in this video I am going to be doing something I've never done before uh, and I'm probably totally crazy to be even trying to do this but I am going to be painting for 24 hours so it is currently 10 to 9 so I'm going to be painting from 9 um, until a 9 tomorrow morning and hopefully I will be able to stay awake and I won't fall asleep. So I already primed a bunch of canvases ready for me to paint. Um, I've also got some other canvases as well um, but I don't think I'll be able to finish that many because I'm also going to be painting on these denim jackets. Um, so they're going to take me quite a while. It takes me about six to eight hours to paint on each jacket so I believe I will have enough canvases. If I don't, I do have some more canvases elsewhere. I've already started planning out a little bit on what I want to paint on some of them, but most of them I have no idea what I'm going to be doing. So I'm really excited to see if I can actually complete this challenge. Um, I've never done anything like this before. I've never even pulled an all-nighter at uni or anything like this. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to stay up for this long but hopefully I'll be able to complete it. So I'm gonna go and get all my paints out and I'll see you just before nine o'clock. There we go, and it's nine o'clock. So I've got my first canvas ready um, and I am going to be using gouache for my first painting um, and I'm just gonna start by sketching out my design on this, which is going to be a butterfly. For the first painting I wanted to do something quite simple that could just be a little bit of a warm up piece. Um, I did actually end up spending more time on this than I wanted to but as this is a 24 hour painting challenge and not doing as many paintings as I can in 24 hours I think it's great that I should spend more time on it um, and get it right and make sure it looks like how I wanted it to um, and not ru rush through it as there's no reason to rush through it, you know? I have, a, I have 24 hours. I can spend 24 hours on one painting um, and I can still complete the challenge. So I am now an hour in, it's 10 o'clock. Um, I've finished putting down like the block colors and I've kind of added a bit of shading into the butterfly on the black bits of the wings. Um, but I want to add more to the pink um, and I also need to add in the white bits and then do the background. So that will probably take me about another hour or so. Um, but I'm actually gonna go and get some breakfast now um, and a drink and then I'll come back in a second. When I first started using gouache, I wasn't so sure of it, but now I definitely think it's one of my favorite mediums. I just kind of love how um, soft and kind of like creamy it is. Um, I think I also prefer it a bit because the consistency of acrylic paint can vary a bit um, depending on like different brands and stuff but I've always found that gouache can be pretty much the same even with different brands however at the moment I am using um, Turner acrylic gouache um, I really like this brand um, I really like the colors they've got some really nice pastel colors which are amazing um, so you can kind of keep the colors the same you don't have to faff around with mixing um, which I find kind of annoying sometimes um, and I just think they're really pretty colours. Okay, so it is currently 11.53, so I'm almost three hours in um, and I have finished this painting. Um, I kind of expected this to take me about two hours, a little bit less than that even. Uh, so it's taking me a lot longer than I thought it would. Um, but you know, uh, I guess it's good to spend time on something and get it right and how I want it. Um, I think I could have done more with the background, but I am still really happy with it. Um, and as always, I've gone with the space theme. But now I'm actually gonna go into my kitchen and I'm gonna start painting on one of my denim jackets. So I started out by sketching out my design um, using chalk and then colouring it in with white paint mixed with textile medium. I mix all my paints um, with textile medium when I'm painting on denim jackets. This is to make sure the paint is secure to the jacket um, and you can wash it. If you want to see a full tutorial on how to do this, um, I've already got a video up on my channel which I did a few months ago um, if you're interested in seeing how to do it. So it is currently half 
too. Um, I'm gonna take a quick break to eat something. Um, I bought this wrap yesterday, so I didn't have to faff around with making anything so I can get back to painting as soon as possible. So it's quarter to three now and I'm nearly six hours in, so a quarter of the way there. Um, at the moment, I'm feeling absolutely fine, which is kind of obvious considering this is probably like a normal day of work, really. You know, I've not even done a full day of work yet. So this is the progress I'm making so far on the jacket. I'm actually gonna keep some of these flowers white. Um, I'm gonna go over them and tidy them up and add in like shading and stuff. Um, and there'll be a few which will be this pinky colour and a few which will be kind of closer to this purple colour um, and I'll like spread them out over the jacket. So I'll check in with you in a few hours time. denim jacket is finished. Um, I really like how it came out. Um, it's a bit different than I was wanting to do. I actually wanted to do the flowers to be more colourful. Um, I wanted it to all be like different pinks and purples but I actually decided to stick with two different like shades of pink um, and put them in with white flowers. The reason I did this is just because I didn't want it to be too colourful so I wanted it to like match with more people's things if that makes sense. Um, I think it's definitely a bit more wearable when it has more white in it, um, but I'm really happy with how it looks. So this is the finished painted denim jacket. So I have one more denim jacket I want to paint today. Uh, I do have another one I could possibly paint, but I think I'm gonna save that one for another day. I've just checked the time, it's quarter past five now, so this took me, I think, about five hours to do. Um, so... If I do another one, that will take me to about 11 o'clock, maybe 12. I feel like the tiredness will start hitting me after that jacket, so I don't really want to work on another jacket and possibly mess it up. So I'll probably just like work on some pieces in my on my other canvases or in a sketchbook or something, just because I don't want to miss up a product I'm going to sell to somebody. So I'm now going to get this other jacket. I want to paint a butterfly on it. It's just a plain blue jacket, um, but I think I want to do a butterfly kind of similar to the one I did this morning, um, just because I really liked how that looked and I think that will look really nice on this jacket. Um, and my butterfly jackets have been popular before. So again, um, I filled in the butterfly with white paint um, just to make sure that the paint sticks. The reason I do this is because when it's a dark jacket, the paint won't show as obviously as um, if you only put um, one layer down, so it's just better just to start off with white to make it really stand out. So right now I'm going a little bit crazy, I'm not even halfway through, it is currently uh, 16 minutes past 8. So I'm so close to the nine hour mark, which would be officially halfway, and then I've got another 12 hours to go. I think the problem I've got right now is the fact that I'm not tired right now, it's just the fact that I've got another, well, I've got the same again left to go. Uh, and I'm just, oh, I just don't know, it's just, it feels like it's been forever, this day has just seemed, seemed so long, and there's been days where I will sit down and I will do work from 9 till, you know, 8, maybe eight, even 9 sometimes when I have like craft fairs. You know, I, I do do d days that are this long sometimes, but I just feel a bit more in control as, you know, if I want to take a break, I can. If I want to go outside, I can. But I don't know, I think I'm just going a bit crazy because I'm forcing myself to do this a little bit more than I probably usually would because of it's a challenge and then I think it's also the fact that I have another 12 hours left and I'm just like how am I going to do another 12 hours of this I don't know um but yeah I'm actually feeling all right um I still have to eat I haven't eaten my tea yet um but I think I might wait until I finish this jacket and once this jacket's finished I think I'm probably going to go back to my desk um do some painting there and probably put on some move, put on a movie or a TV series or something. I think one of the issues I've been having is that 
I have been watching YouTube videos pretty much consistently all day and I think I'm just getting a little bored of that and I need to watch something that's a little bit longer because I'm watching loads and loads of short YouTube videos and I just need something a little bit more to distract me from what I'm doing. Um, I think putting on a few movies might help or a TV series or something, maybe both. Um, and hopefully that will get me through the remaining 12 hours. Um, yeah, I think I'm kind of crazy to be doing this, but hopefully I'm gonna do it. I mean, I'm halfway now, almost. Oh, uh, yeah. This wasn't a good idea. <laughs> So I did decide to do the butterfly a little bit more different to like the one I did originally this morning um, but I actually really like this, I really like the colours um, and I think they match really well with the blue of the denim jacket. So I've just hit the halfway mark, it's actually um, 12 past 9 right now because my memory card literally filled up the second we hit nine o'clock um, but I can't believe I've got this far I mean like it hasn't felt so bad right now it's just the fact that I've got the same again to go and I'm kind of just like oh why but back to painting this butterfly Usually at this point of the day, I would be going to bed soon, but I think one of the things I struggled with the most wasn't the fact that I was staying up late, it was the fact that I was actually staying up and doing work and I wasn't gonna have a break, um, and I kind of knew how much time was left. I feel like if I'd actually not really thought about it and painted for 12 hours straight, it wouldn't have been as much of a problem for me, but it was just the fact that I knew that I had another 12 hours to go through, if that makes sense. So I've finished the jacket, this, this is what it looks like, if you just move the head right away, <laughs> yeah I really like it, um, I've still got the chalk there but I can't actually rub that off yet until it's dry so I don't want to smudge it. I feel like this is a bit cartoony than like, like I normally do my jackets but I kind of like that about it. So right now my hands are aching a bit and my back and my knees too but I think that's mostly because I've been sitting on the floor for like the last 8 hours, 9 hours or so. So um, I'm probably going to spend the rest of the time sitting at my desk um, because I've just got like small canvases to paint and stuff. I think it would just be a lot easier if I sit down on an actual chair instead of sitting down on the floor which probably isn't going to be good for my back anyway. Um, so I'm actually gonna make some food. I got a uh, curry from Tesco's yesterday when I got my wrap. Um, so I'm gonna pop this in the oven or the microwave. I think this only takes like five minutes to do, so I'm probably gonna get some water, clean my brushes and everything while it cooks. It's quarter to 11 now, um, i finished eating and I think I'm gonna go and sit down and watch a movie. I've just realized Netflix has a movie called Let It Snow. I really enjoyed the book, so I kinda wanna see that the, the film, I didn't actually realize they were making it into a film, but um, yeah, so I'm gonna sit down and watch that and paint. Um, originally, I was gonna paint one of my little girls, um, but to be honest, I, I just don't feel up to it. Um, I need something that's a little bit easier, a little bit more, le with less kind of detail in a way, like, because with my girls, there's like really small little bits you have to paint, and I just, I just don't want to do that right now. Um, so I think I'm just going to stick to like painting animals and stuff for the rest of today. I've got this little thing, and I'm going to draw my polygon logo on this Imposca pen. Um, but I might do that after I do this painting. For this painting, I have found this really, really cute little reference photo of this hedgehog with some strawberries. Um, however, as I'm gonna do that as a painting, I think I'm actually gonna draw it out onto my iPad first and then transfer it to the canvas later. 
just to make my life that a little bit easier. So it's three o'clock now, six hours left to go. I'm um, starting to feel it now. Um, the painting I'm currently working on is just taking me a lot longer than it should have done. Um, I, since I've started it, I've watched a movie, and I think three episodes of a TV show. Um, so what's that like? Three hours, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know, I think I'm going to get, get through this and finish it. It's just going to take me a while and to be honest I'm not sure how many more pieces I will do once I finish this one. I might be able to get one done but um, and then the polygon logo for the Christmas decoration but yeah. Starting to feel it and I kind of want to go to bed now. I do stay up like when I go out with friends and stuff I do tend to stay out like like to three or four sometimes even late as six but um when it's been different when you've been drinking, like when you've just been sitting around doing nothing really, or painting, you know, it kind of drains you because you're just overthinking stuff and, you know, I'm just sitting in this room on my own. Though, um, a last kind of quarter, and I'm gonna go to bed. Uh, I don't know why I decided to do this. So if you are watching this video um, and you're not subscribed to me, make sure to hit that subscribe button because I definitely deserve it after staying out this long. Um, and hit the like button as well um, because I'm completely crazy. And <laughs> I'm, I'm never gonna do anything like this again, I don't think, I, I don't know. But yeah, please give me a thumbs up to show your support for me, yeah. I wanna go to bed. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go and finish this painting off. Once I finished my hedgehog painting, um, I started drawing on the Polygon logo on the Christmas decoration and I used the technique I did for the hedgehog again, just to make it that bit easier and to make sure I got the proportions right of the logo. I'm, yeah, oh my god, I'm so tired. It's quarter to five right now. Um, so I'm kind of glad there's only like four and a half hours left, but it just, it just feels so long away because the sun hasn't even started coming up yet, so I've got ages for that. And then once that's happened, you know, I sort seven, eight, and nine to wait through and, oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, I am slowing down a bit. I'm not really being anywhere near as fast as I was earlier. I think I'll probably be able to get one more painting done and then I expect that will probably be it. That will probably, I'll probably run out of time. Um, I did get the Polygon Christmas decoration done. Um, the colours unfortunately didn't really match up that well <laughs> um, with the Posca pens but I might go over it at some point but not tonight. <laughs> so I'm going to go and come up with something else to paint on a different canvas um, and then hopefully next time I update you I'll be ready to go to bed. I can't wait. I really want to go to bed. Oh my fringe look disgusting. I just look disgusting, I look so tired. I just wanna sleep. I wanna go to bed and sleep. Now it's, it's too late or early, whatever. I need to go to bed.
Even though I was definitely feeling the tiredness by the time I started doing the sunflower painting, um, it was actually really fun to do and I did enjoy it. Um, I watched a TV series, um, I watched pretty much all of it. Um, I finished it actually, um, I started it during my last painting. So it was nice to be able to watch a whole series and kind of just not have to think about looking for videos. And it kind of helped pass the time a little bit more than it did earlier um, when I was watching just YouTube videos. Um, overall, I did really like the sunflower. I definitely think I probably could have added a little bit more to it. Um, but I was just painting it and copying the picture just because I needed something quite simple to just waste the time, you know. I didn't really want to be thinking about doing anything too hard. I was I was too tired to do that, so it was actually a really nice relaxing piece to do. I did of course use gouache again, um, which I do really enjoy using. So for this last painting I only had one hour left um, and to be honest I don't think this painting was as great. I was kind of just trying to paint one of the flowers I was painting earlier in the jackets. It didn't really work, I put the paint on way too thick and it was just kind of lumpy and bumpy um, and to be honest I didn't finish it. <laughs> so these are the two paintings I've just done. Um, this one's finished, this one's not. Um, I kind of just did this one in the last hour just to fill up the rest of the time. But as there's only um, a few seconds left until the timer goes off, um, I'm not going to do any more of it. There's not long to go now, only 20 seconds left on the timer. In fact, there you go. It's nine o'clock. Um, so yeah. <laughs> um, this has been a really fun challenge to do. It's been tiring and it got to a point where I was just like, it got to a point where I was just like, I just want it to be over and done with and I was kind of regretting deciding to do it at the 12 hour mark. But I got through it and I completed 24 hours. I feel like I definitely probably could have done more art, but as the night kind of went on, I was just getting slower and slower. Um, but I am happy with what I managed to do. I managed to do two denim jackets and they usually take like me eight hours each. I did um, three small paintings, one a little bit bigger, and then the hedgehog painting and then the polygon um, tree decoration. So I did do quite a bit. Um, I'm not the fastest painter, so it doesn't surprise me that I didn't get like tons done. So I'm gonna head to bed now, but here is future me um, ending the video for you. <laughs> So it's been a few days now, I've sorted out my sleeping pattern um, and I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. It was probably like the most fun I've ever had with making a video. It was a lot different to what I normally do and it was a lot harder. I think it's the most difficult video I ever have made but I definitely think it has been worth it. So if you enjoyed this video please give me a massive thumbs up and leave a comment below with any suggestions of any videos you would like me to make or any art challenges you would like to see me tackle. I don't think I'll probably be able to do anything again like this um, because I don't think I can stay up any longer than 24 hours. But if you have any other ideas on what I can do, please leave a comment um, and I'll check them all out. I do read all my comments and I reply to them as soon as I can. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and hit that bell button so you'll be the first to be notified for when I next upload. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you next week. Bye!